Hello everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, I'm actually super excited for this video. I wanted to do a video on the Embersort for quite some time, but I simply did not have a, have a time for this because I was so busy doing the, the content on, uh, on Fit and Arena and obviously, yeah. I really wanted to get into this now because this game is close to release in early 2022. I think you should be uh, paying attention because because this game has been in development for a few years now and they just implemented the uh, play to earn economy as well. So if you're excited for this one, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and let's get to it. Okay, so let's talk about Amber Sword. Um, I really wanted to make a video about this one for quite some time, but I was so busy um, playing and <laughs> recording videos on Feet and Arena that I, you know, I couldn't get to it. I wanted to make a review on that one because I feel like this is really going to blow up. Because what, what was the reason? You know, the Amber Sword game has actually been around for years. It's because you know it's not. It's not one of these uh, games uh, like crypto hyped FOMO type of game. Like, you know, let's create a game. Um, let's create a game beca because there is a demand, because there is play to earn happening, etc. And we're just going to make a game. Okay, because this is th this is different. This is different because, you know, you have a game that was originally like MMORPG style, uh, style game and they implemented the the system you know how to play to earn and essentially that is going to be the land system okay you're going to be able to purchase the land and to get the percentage of the of the fees on the marketplace and stuff like that you know depending depending on the land that that you will buy of course uh, oh that's beautifully actually because come come up right now because you have a different uh, types of plots that you can buy okay and either it's going to be a regular plot, a settlement plot, town, city, and they will all, all have its perks, as you can see. You know, regular plot ownership, rich mineral, rare monster spawn, and entrance to a cave. And per let's focus on the perks and size. Collecting a percentage of the revenue uh, by the area of the plot, size one to one, which is roughly once in a time. So th these, these are essentially the perks of all of them. Okay, they they are, they are available to buy on OpenSea. Okay, so we can, you can right now go and buy on OpenSea because there is obviously all the applications are done are closed, so you're only uh, able to buy the land on the on the secondary market. Okay, so we can cover that actually as well. Um, if you go search Amber Swords, make sure that it does have. What's with my internet? Jesus. Make sure it does have the the verified account. Why it didn't come up? I actually wanted to show you an example, but okay. I don't know. I think I think my internet is failing me. If I'm you have to be honest. Right. You can see that this is the Ambassador land. Some it didn't come up on the on the search bar. What a fail. And the floor price is not too bad, you know, it's 0 0.2, that's the floor price currently, and 1.9k is the is the volume trading. So you have 6,000 6, people owning these, and it's what was very good to see as well is checking, you know, the activity. So you can see it was in September, boom, 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 like the floor was 1.8, 1.8, 1.3, 1 1 yeah. Now, obviously, because of the metaverse types of situation and sandbox, uh, the demand is increasing. The demand is increasing significantly, but so 90-day average price is 0 0.34. Okay, so what we want to see, what we want to see, guys, is like obviously we, we can buy different plots. You know, as we covered already, like you have different types of plots. Um, either a regular plot, settlement, town, like these are probably going to be out of the picture, you know, for most people, even if it's one to one, uh, regular plot, that's still going to be pretty good. Okay. Right. So let's dive, uh, let's dive to the other things. Okay. We got the land covered. Um, 
but let's talk about team a little bit, okay? So that's obviously, um, the game has been built uh, by very, very ex experienced uh, game studio, which is Brightstar. Okay, Brightstar, uh, he's the, the, the CEO of the, of the Brightstar, and you know, his experience, you can see the guy has been all his life, you know, developing, <laughs> building games. That's all he's been doing all these years. Now, so the question is, why am I bullish um, on Ambersort? Um, basically, um, I like the, the fact that this team is super, you know, devoted to this game. I think this is very important because, you know, usually, usually you'll see, you know, the teams jumping on and off the games. And, and this one, they are very, very devoted. You know, there's 70,000 people in the, in the Discord right now. So there is... There is a big community behind it, and you know the game has been in development for, for years now. So they, this this has been polished. This is not have been um, a rushed project, you know, to to score a, a big you know sale of the token and, and stuff like that. So I will highlight some articles as well in the. Um, um, you know of the articles that they published and you know how land works i think this is beautifully explained you know how like this will work we distributing 50 percent of the revenues generated inside the episode amongst the land owners i think this is absolutely amazing because um and and one of those is also explaining uh how it's going to be distributed where is that where was that Yeah, that's another one actually. They partnered with Immutable X. You know, Immutable X is a layer two scaling solution uh, for games essentially and NFTs, and and it, like it enables um, it enables a zero transaction fees on Ethereum, which is obviously um, giving the the current you know age and you know of adoption where we have millions of people, millions. Because it used to be like the transactions were quite cheap, but obviously, but that happened only because there were, the, the, the network wasn't congested. Now, when we have millions and millions of players um, joining the game, like Thetan Arena as well, but Thetan Arena is using a Binance Smart Chain, so that's different. So, you know, having, you know, the zero transaction fees is just going to bring the mass adoption. And I'm very bullish on that. I think anyone partnering with Immutable X is a big player in the space. I have nothing against, you know, Solana, um, Binance Smart Chain. Um, but, but quite frankly, I think this is going to be the prime uh, solution, you know, building on Ethereum and uh, implementing Immutable X. I think that this is gonna be the the top thing for that. So, you know, you, you can see why we are partnering. Massive speed and responsiveness. Increased accessibility. Pay with credit card. In the future, we wanna make purchasing more, more streamlined, etc. cetera, so, as everyone would do, which offer excess cost of buying, for example, single regular land. Switching to Immutable X is the first step in our plan to solve this challenge for good. So security as well. Um, yeah. So, I mean, this is a big one. Like, you know, I'll tell you what, you know, anyone, like this, I'm talking about the L2s and the games as well. Any game or any solution that will figure out how to make the transaction frictionless like on Ethereum, on Ethereum blockchain is going to succeed massively. Like I really hope this is going to be, uh, uh, I really hope this is going to be, you know, Ambersword as well. Like Ambersword, it just looks beautiful. It looks just beautiful on the, when I see the gameplay footage, you know, which I will post as well in the videos too. Um, they just look absolutely beautiful. So the sale distribution. So you can. So this is a uh, hundred dollars, and this shows how it's distributed. Ninety-three dollars to seller, seven exchange fee, and you know that's seven dollars. Yeah, it's going to the bright star and the three fifty to land owners, and you know through the local area and the global area. So that can make sense. You know, obviously if you have a smaller. Uh, plot of land, etc. You have the regular plot. Let's have an example. 
regular plot, settlement 10, town plot, city plot 125. So obviously that makes sense, you know, that if you have a one per one, you know, you're not going to get the same multiplier, um, you know, as, you know, the biggest one, which probably is in excess of uh, millions of dollars. Uh, let's have a look, actually. Let's have a look, you know, how, because we, if we would do, which one was it? Um, settlement plot. That, that gives us the multiplier of 10. Um, so obviously you can buy them open. See, I think this is the best way to do it. Um, if you go on the lowest price, so we, we can see it's actually not too bad. You know, it's really not too bad because um, you do want to actually the, co the coordinates will will be pretty important as well. To be honest with you, I think that's that's something to keep in mind um, because it doesn't say obviously you have to check the uh, coordinates whether it's not placed at the um, at the end of the world. <laughs> Right, so this is actually not too bad. Like, you know, I think, like obviously it's quite expensive. I'm giving, uh, giving you know, the land, the digital land will will definitely, um, is it, like the question is, is it, is it good uh, time to buy that now? Like obviously there's some hype, you know, towards the digital land currently, but something to keep in mind is that um, the, um, the game is not live yet. I mean, once it will be, um, once this is live, once the marketplace is live and the purchases and everything, um, without a when people will have the benefits, this will be the time, well, not to buy, because I think those prices will skyrocket at the time, because then people will start to see the benefit. We are here early just, just to see... Um, just to see and explain, you know, these these kind of things, you know, like why 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 is beneficial, you know, to own that land, okay, and that's important, okay. So this is the marketplace. Um, gotta connect, yeah. Boom, shakalaka. Um, why that doesn't show? It's kind of interesting because I thought I was I was able to. So this is the capital essentially, and it just shows the coordinates. But I think I was able to use that um, the last time. So that's kind of odd. Um, interesting. Okay. Right. Right then. Right. So these are the coordinates. That's interesting. Like I think I will definitely buy the land um, in Embersort because this this game um, it's gonna like get the same hype if not bigger probably bigger as Thetan Arena. Like you look at the Thetan Arena, it's a mobile game, right? And you know it has three uh, million players um, registered right now, and it will only go up because there's 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 not. We we at this point like we are play to earn 1.0 where projects are it's literally at alpha beta they're not even at that stage they're only launching the the website you know they're raising you know millions of of dollars without any product whatsoever without any MVP which is a minimum valuable product okay there's nothing and and you know games like Thetan Arena we are talking about the game which has like top reviews, 4.8 reviews on Google, you know, with thousands. You know, yes, the game, you know, gets buggy sometimes, you know, when there's millions playing it, they still need to, uh, you know, figure th these things out. But other than that, I mean, I think that this is a great experience. I play this game, you know, a lot. And uh, the games like that will be the first movers, um, like Axie Infinity. Like there's, you could literally count you know the the best experience games um, on our, on the, on your fingers. <laughs> Most of these games are like browser types of games with some very poor design. Like th they look like they've been made, you know, like in a, in a half an hour. Not to say you know they are bad games, but my point is that you know this is we are not at a triple A type of experience quite just yet. Okay, so yeah.
that's that's what I have to say about that. I'm definitely going to be playing Amber Sword. Please let me know what you think about that. And at the end, I will put some uh, gameplay footage as well for you. This is the the Amber Sword. Um, as you can see, like the the graphics, um, they're just amazing. I mean, honestly, you can see how much you know thought and time you know went into this. Okay, that's why I'm bullish on this because you know games like that, you know. These are the games that you will play hours and hours, you know, you, you gotta have the, the kind of a mechanic and you know these It needs to be fun, you know that you are gonna be spend hours and hours playing it and it has to be beautiful There has to be a nice music um, And so on so I am actually super excited for this one I'm actually super excited for the play to earn space in general because I know there's gonna be a lot of uh, games like those um, but you know definitely the the studios and the games that have been building for quite some time have the absolute advantage like without a doubt you know they have a head head uh, above shoulders from this space okay guys I hope you'll enjoy this video uh, if you did hit the subscribe button hit the like button um, and see you in the next one guys bye bye